In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use QPath to segment the bathymium and stroma uh, in fluorescent images. So we are back to this image, this multiplexed image of a polyp. Now, if we look at the markers, so we have DAPI that we're going to use to segment the nuclei. Then we have a bunch of markers uh, used to identify um, the immune cell types, TBAT, CD8, or gamma-T, CD4, FOXP3. And then we have cytokeratin um, that is used to identify the epithelium, epithelial cells. So if we want to identify epithelium and stroma, of course, we're going to use cytokeratin. That's going to tell us where the epithelial cells are. Uh, to identify stroma, we don't have a specific marker. So what we can try to do is to use DAPI. So where we have DAPI and cytokeratin, it's going to correspond to epithelium. And when, where we only have uh, DAPI, it's going to correspond to stroma. So I'm going to uh, switch off the other markers and just keep uh, DAPI and cytokeratin. And uh, it's going to be challenging in some uh, places, like in here. So if you look at this region here, uh, we know that this is, this is not background. This is trauma because we have some cells. But the density of the cells is not that large. So it's going uh, to be a bit difficult. So we'll see uh, how, how it goes. So uh, we're going to train a pixel classifier. We already have uh, three different uh, classes, epithelium, stroma, and background that we're going to use. It's the same that we used for the h &E images. So I'm going to start by defining a few annotations. So for stroma, for example, I'm going to start with this because I know it's going to be a bit uh, challenging. And I didn't affect a class because autoset is not uh, on. So I'm going to select these guys, put set class. Now I'm going to select other set. It's going to make things easier and maybe a region you know, that is more common here. Uh, let's do the same for epithelium. So I can here, here, maybe go in a uh, different region at the bottom it's brighter so it might help to also identify these kind of regions and let's do the background so we can do a small oops uh, not with a brush might be difficult so i'm going to use maybe the wand to do uh, you know this kind of region here and here and uh, maybe a big region there all right and now I'm going to open uh, train pixel classifier. And I'm going to use the same, um, same features uh, as before. My means I'm going to uh, use the random trees. High should be enough. Um, and then in the features, uh, so obviously the channels, I only need DAPI and cytokeratin. So I'm going to switch up the other ones. I'm going to use a uh, scale 4 to regularize uh, the results. And then I'm going to use Gaussian and Gaussian of Gaussian. And I can start. All right. So it's very unbalanced. I have way more uh, background. So as a first guess, you know, it looks pretty good. Uh, um, so we saw before that uh, we had uh, some uh, first sentence background here. So for example, uh, this is considered as, as a stroma instead of um, instead of background because there is some uh, depth level, I guess. Here the epithelium is not well defined. So I'm going to uh, add a few annotations to try to improve, uh, and uh, and I'll be back uh, after. So, all right. So I uh, define quite some annotations. I have pretty balanced training data set. And this is what I get. So it's not perfect. What is pretty neat is that in these regions, I'm quite able to find the entire stroma region. Uh, maybe what's not as good is that I, I have all this um, you know, these, these regions are not that uniform. So it's, it's, it's much better at the bottom. We have more, uh, brighter intensities. Not that good. So 
In that case, we, we can try by combining uh, even more uh, scales to get something uh, maybe uh, more regular. So let's put all of this, see if it, if it improves. So we could only add the, the 8, which would regularize um, the data. Let's see when we also have two. So we have, in that case, we have quite some resolutions at the same time. Yeah, it's still not perfect. It's a bit better. Um, yeah, I guess it's, it's, it's not that bad. Uh, of course, uh, we could try to go one level higher for the resolution, take something moderate instead of high, but um, I guess, so yeah, in that case it's, it's more regular, but now I'm missing some regions, so I, uh, I'm not sure, I guess this is fine, now it's, um, it would require uh, some uh, adjustments here. We see that the difficulty here is really that we don't have a, a, a uniform staining, which makes things more difficult. Uh, I would say overall it it's, looks fine. Just missing here, some one here. We're over uh, segmenting the stroma region here. It's definitely something that doesn't make much sense. This has to be a epithelium. So now, you know, it's some back and forth, as always. Eh, it's not too bad. We're missing some here, guys. So I can run, oh, oops, it's not what I wanted to do. Uh, so I can, you know, try to add some stroma here. The problem is that you know, it's going to be some back and forth. And here, more with background because this looks like background. So now I have, you know, this kind of regions uh, that should be background. A bit better. You know, um, obviously, a little bit more notation probably should not. Uh, but I am, you know, I'm going to uh, save uh, the pixel classifier. And, and this is not. Yeah, sometimes there's just a few things, you know, that doesn't make sense. I'm just going to do this. I'm going to stop there now. Hopefully, I don't, yeah, it's not perfect, but it's okay. So I'm going to save this one as epithelium stroma fuel. I'm going to save it. So I will be able to load it uh, when I'm down with the um, identification of all my cell types. So as I'm, you know, Again, this, that would require a bit of um, improvements, but I'm, it's going to be uh, it's going to be okay for today. So now, as I saved my classifier, I can uh, remove all of this.